Thank you, um, Mr. Speaker. Uh, will my right honourable friend confirm unequivocally that after the 29th of March 2019, the European Court of Justice's writ will no longer run in any way in this country, and that any new laws that are agreed under the Acqui Communautaire after that date will not have effect here unless agreed specifically by Parliament? My, my honourable friend has actually raised two separate issues, but elided them to, uh, together. The first is about the European Court of Justice. As I've just said in uh, answer to a number of questions. We want to have a smooth and orderly process of withdrawal with minimum disruption. That's why we want that implementation period, and we have to negotiate what will operate during that implementation period. And yes, that may mean that we will start off with the ECJ still governing the rules we're part of for that period. But what we're also clear of is that we uh, can bring forward discussions and agreements on issues like a dispute resolution mechanism, and if we can bring that forward at an earlier stage, then we would wish to do so. Now, the second issue my honourable friend referred to was the question of new rules that are brought in during that implementation period. Um, given the way that things operate, it is highly unlikely that anything will be brought forward during that period that hasn't already uh, started discussions through the European Union, to which we are being party of until we leave, and on which we would have been able to say whether they would be a rule that we would sign up to or the rule that we would not wish to sign up to. Um, and any new rules that were put on the table during that implementation period, given, again, the way these things operate, it's highly unlikely they would actually be implemented during that implementation period.